Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's question comes from a house cleaner who wants to know is it okay if I'm at a customer's house to take before and after pictures of my cleaning? Now that's an excellent question because a lot of house cleaners promote their businesses online through social media by having before and after pictures of the things that they have cleaned. And so the object is you want to take a picture of a really dirty toilet and then a really clean toilet to show your skill and your ability to be able to clean someone's house. So is it okay? Well, the rule of thumb is this. You cannot take a picture of someone else's house unless you have their permission. So you may want to create just a simple waiver that says, is it okay if I take a picture of your stuff, a before and after picture, and that I don't use any identifying information. So this would be no family photos. This would be no decorations of the home that would be recognizable to your family, your neighbors, or your friends. In case they run up on the photo, we don't want to embarrass you and show how messy your house is. But if it's a room that no one can identify or an object in a room that no one can identify, that might be a good way to do a before and after picture. So what you want to do is isolate the item that you're taking the picture of. Like let's say for example, that you want to take a picture of a really icky shower. Just take a picture of the shower. You don't need to take a picture of the whole bathroom, just the icky shower. And then here's the shower after it's all been cleaned and sanitized and it looks brand new. And so when you do the back to back photos, the before and after, it looks like you did an amazing job, right? But again, you don't want to embarrass the people that have paid you to come into their home to clean. Okay. So then the next thing is where should you get that form? You can create your form or you can go to a place like rocket lawyer. Now I have all the links in the show notes in case you want to pull up this information, but there are a couple of links that you would want to be aware of. There is a legal form that is a photo waiver release. Now in my particular company, I use them for everything. So if I hire a new employee and we're going to make a business card, I have them sign a release. That business card is used for promotional purposes and my company is benefiting by having the image of my employee on their business card. So I want to make sure that I have a signed release on file. If I'm making a video like this one right now and I use a picture of someone, either it's my family or it might even be me, there is a signed release from that person that says I have the right to use their image. Now, even if it's me, why would I have a signed release of me? I'm the one that created the video, right? Okay. Well, this is my image. I am creating this video clip for you right now. Now, in the event that I turn around and I ever sell my business later on down the road, this particular video might be used by someone who purchases the company. Now, as a new owner of the company, they cannot use this video clip unless I have a signed release form on file. So even though I'm the one creating this video for you, and even though I give permission, I have to still have a signed release form on file for myself. I know that sounds crazy, right? But that's the way that it works in this legal world that we live in. Now, if I want somebody to be able to share the video, like I hope you find value in this video and I hope that you share it with your friends, but in order for you to be able to share it with your friends, I had to go online. And I had to create what's called a creative commons license. And so what that means is I give you as a viewing audience permission to share my image with your friends and your social network and people that, you know, in the house cleaning space and other homeowners and people who are interested in house cleaning, I give you permission. And so how do I give you permission? Well, I've actually filled out a creative commons license. And it's embedded in the metadata of every single video that I produce. And so if for any reason you should decide that you want to share this with your friends, you're covered. I covered you by creating a creative commons license. So if I'm creating business information before and after pictures, and I'm creating things for social media that I want you to share with your neighbors and friends, because it brings me referrals. It is of benefit to me, number one, to have a signed release for myself on file. And number two, to create a creative commons license for you to protect you. And so that way I'm giving you permission 
so that you can share this information. So if you are going to use before and after pictures, make sure you clear it with the customer first. You don't want to get fired or lose your job because their friends saw their messy house on Facebook. That's not cool. And then second of all, you don't want to surprise them and just take pictures without their permission. So if they've signed something, it's on file. They know that you're going to take pictures of a dirty toy box and then an organized toy box or whatever. You have their signed permission on file. Okay. So just protect yourself. And it's really important that you do this because whatever you do for the rest of your life, there will be photos and videos. That's how we communicate now. It's just a way of life. So get in the habit right now of carrying release forms with you. Uh, we're out and about. I carry five to 10 cameras with me when we travel. And if I run into a scenario that I want to start filming, if somebody accidentally walks through my screen, I got to have a released form signed by them or I have to blur out their face. And so sometimes if you're using a photo or a video clip and there's a person who does not authorize the preview of it or the review or the release, they won't sign a form. You have to blur their face. So they are unrecognizable. Filming the back of them is okay without permission, but filming their face, you got to have a released signed form. Alrighty. So I hope that helps a little bit. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.